He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Gadget Professor. My name is Don Bain, and I am The Gadget Professor. I'm glad everybody is here because, as I always say, everybody's got to be somewhere, and I'm glad that you're here. If you're new to the show, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're old to the show, welcome back. Uh, we'll make this real brief today. I'm going to tell you quickly how to, how to subscribe to the show. It's so simple, folks. Just go to my webpage, thegadgetprofessor.com. On that page, you'll find uh, that it's real simple to uh, click and subscribe to the show. Uh, there's a brown box. Click the Gadget Professor. It will bring you right into iTunes, and you, su you can subscribe. You can watch the show very easily on the website. And while you're on that page, you want to subscribe to the show notes. It's all there. Simple to do. And also, uh, towards the bottom of the web page, I put a new link. It's called uh, Follow Me on Tumblr. I, I like Tumblr. And uh, if you follow me on Tumblr, uh, I, I put a lot of photographs up uh, that I shoot during the day. There's at least one a day. Uh, I was at the bead show, and uh, I do a lot of photography. And you can see uh, that's a picture of the gem show, which is kind of cool. And uh, actually, here's a, a, a shot that I took handheld out of a plane. Uh, you might want to check that out. So click that Follow Me on Tumblr link. You can just sign up for an account, and uh, you're all set. So today we have a, a really interesting show, and I'm very... Uh, uh, I'm actually I'm honored that uh, we're going to have the CEO of this company, and uh, we're going to reverse things today. I'm going to go immediately into the gadget of the day, which is a company called Mobio, and we are very pleased and honored to have the CEO and president of Mobio, and uh, I'm going to bring him right up right now. I'm going to fold my desktop down, and I'm going to click on Skype, and I believe Mr. Derek Spring is uh, actually... Uh, uh, on Skype, and Mike, can we bring Derek in? Derek, how are you this morning? Don, thanks very much. I'm doing well. How about yourself? Uh, it's very nice here in uh, quasi-sunny uh, Phoenix, Arizona. I know you're in uh, Colorado, correct? That's correct. It's much cooler here today. I'm glad for that. And uh, we are. Here. I'm, thank you for, for coming in on Skype Live. I, I'm always uh, honored uh, that a CEO will take time out of their busy day and come in and uh, spend time with the gadget professor so uh, I really appreciate that and today uh, I came across your devices actually at CES and uh, I was very impressed with them because for the gadget professor I have a couple things that I always like to see in a gadget simplicity in design uh, cost effective and that they serve a purpose and certainly that they're well made and uh, your products fit all those categories which is unusual and I'm gonna pop real quick to camera two and I'm just going to show the folks that we're going to talk about three devices here the Mobio Go, the Mobio Pivot and the Mobio Grip so uh, no one's going to do a better demo than, uh, than you Derek so what I'd like to do is uh, uh, actually turn the show over to you and uh, folks uh, this is some really cool stuff so Derek it's all yours. Hey thank you very much Don so very uh, simply Mobio was founded with the idea of doing exactly what you said, trying to find products that add value, fun, and convenience to this whole mobile revolution. Everyone has a mobile device pretty much all around the world, and I'll just get right into it. So sure. our flagship initial line of products has three products. And let me tilt my monitor down here and tell me how this looks to everyone. That looks but good. I think Mike's going to go full screen if he can. There you go. Okay, excellent. Thank you. I'll go ahead and start with the tablet products, Don which are the Mobio Grip and the Mobio Pivot. And the idea is simple. The iPad, whether it's the iPad Mini or a Google Nexus or a Samsung device, all has the ability to be a very lightweight, simple, portable mobile device. But holding it and operating it at the same time can sometimes be a little bit difficult. So what we've actually done is we found a way to basically take a very thin magnet on the back of your device and pop right on this slick looking handle. So now you pop this on and now our products become a handle. So wow. now I can hold any tablet in my hand. That's great. To work, to type. Don, how's the sound? Everything okay? Yeah, everything sounds great and it looks great too. It's really a cool product. I really like it. Okay. So, so, so this, the, this, 
that Go ahead. how is that attached to the back again? Can you show the audience that how it's attached? Absolutely. And so there's a very thin profile magnet that and that's has a, an adhesive. That's a so super this, magnet. That's just not any old magnet. No, this is definitely it's a neodymium magnet that's cut custom cut to basically do what we're looking for it to do here. It has absolutely no effect on all these new smart technologies. So it's all been tested and run through all that rigmarole. And on the back, there's a, an industrial adhesive that can be removed and replaced, and we provide replacements. So what I'm about to show you can work on any tablet, any case, and provides a nice addition to your current device. Now look what happens. So all I do is stick this on the back. This is an iPad, and then listen. Now I click on this thing called the Mobio Grip. It's made of aluminum, and this is treated with a jet black finish. It also comes in a custom chrome, which I'll show so people can see it side by side. And we also have different color custom rubber balls at the top that come in pink, black, blue. So people, the girl, actually the pink's just sold out. The ladies love them. But let me show you what the functionality of it is. Now I immediately have a portable device that's a stand for my airplane or for working. I can turn it to portrait mode and easily use it in a different direction. And one wonderful feature is now when I'm taking pictures or video or trying to work with my device in my hands, I can hold it and use it. I can easily spin it, rotate it, and move it wherever I go. That's and just awesome. to give you an, and to give you an example, Don, of how this looks, I can walk right in and now take my Amazon Kindle, which I'm bringing in right now that my children use to read, and now I have a fantastic device that I can hold. They can operate, and they actually love it. So same feature, sticks right to the back. Click it on. Now my boys are reading their book. So this works with all tablets, and it's kind of funny, but a lot of people are actually using them with their phones too, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But basically, the Mobio Grip is a very lightweight, high-quality product that's designed to make it easier to use your tablet, any tablet that can go with you anywhere you go. Actually, any tablet or any phone, pretty much any device. That's correct, that's absolutely correct. And let me walk you through how that same magnet technology works with our home or office product, which is called the Mobio Pivot. Now, this is a custom steel product that's screwed in from the bottom with an adhesive on the bottom so it sticks to any surface, it doesn't move. This is, cut, this is basically custom steel that has a high quality chrome finish. And the way this works, Don, is now I can take my iPad or my phone or anything, click it right on, and now I have a stand that sits flush with the bottom in landscape mode for my Skyping, for sharing or displaying maybe a, a photo gallery or working or operating. It a, provides a much higher viewing angle, but look at this. We have this design that wherever you move the device it stays there, so if your wife wants to cook and follow a recipe in the kitchen, she can move right there and basically adjust it to any viewing height she wants. It can easily rotate and go into this mode. What I'm showing you here is a sneak peek of a new design that we're just filing a patent on, which is an iPad case, but can't show you anymore because you might see what it is. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> Let me so ask you a quick question if I may interrupt you. Initially you said that, that the pivot can mount on the table. It doesn't have to stick on there. You can move that around if you choose so. No, and I'm, forgive me for not being clear. It doesn't stick, but rather than just have plastic, it's got a really nice, basically custom cut silicon material okay. that provides stick so when you're using it, it's not sliding around. Okay. So that does not adhere permanently to some object. That's Absolutely movable. Absolutely not. You can pick it Obviously. up and move it wherever you like. But okay. just to give you an idea of the functionality, we used this the other day when we had our kids' birthday party to display photos. But another thing, when I go to bed at night, I found this really, this really slick alarm clock app. And so I can actually keep this alarm clock app in my uh, snooze in the morning, Don. I don't have to touch it. I'm tired and I don't want to get up at six, so I just wave my hand over it and it turns the alarm off. I love it. I love so it. This, I wouldn't so get up, but... This pivot feature works with all tablets, and let me just give you an idea. It's also a fantastic office device for your phone, and this kind of is a nice segue right into the rest, but you can actually take one phone, and if you wanted, you could charge two phones on here. But the beauty really is, 
this phone now is another wonderful thing. If I wanted to do FaceTime and not have to hold my phone and be able to look at whoever I'm talking to, but this product can spin and rotate. It's great for charging or just having quick access to my, you know, whether it be my audio or whatever on the phone here. So that kind of walks me right through to our third initial flagship product, Don, which is the Mobio Go. It's primarily built for phones and it works in the vehicle. So I've actually designed a little project here to mimic what a car dash would look like. But if you look close, unlike most car mounts that can keep your phone in place, they're very clunky and plastic and they adhere to your windshield or stick through your vent. This can go anywhere in your car. It can set right on the top of your vinyl, your leather, your plastic, or it can sit vertically, which is how it sits on my vehicle. And again, it uses the same adhesive. So when you grab it, it doesn't move, but you can remove it and you can replace it anywhere you like with no issue or problem with the car. But watch what I can do now. I can take the iPhone 5, which has a case on the back. So this product works with cases or not cases. And just so you know, the product for the phone, there's a really tiny thin profile magnet that you can hardly, it's very small. And so watch what happens. Now I can go into my phone. I'm going to go into my maps. We're going to go to target. And as soon as I hit start, watch what I'll do. Starting route to target. Are you driving to Arizona to visit me? So that now she, now Siri or whoever is talking to me, telling me how to get to Target to go buy my kids something. But as you can see, with the adjustability, this chrome ball, basically when you set your phone on it, again, listen to the click. It clicks on, it clicks off. It can go anywhere in your car. So now if you want to stream music, if you want to text with your voice, if you want to make a voice activated Bluetooth call, if you want to use it for maps in horizontal mode, wherever you rotate it towards your steering wheel while you're driving. Yeah, that's, so the, the that's one of the nice features about that is that you're able to you know, manipulate it to get at that, at that exact angle. If the sun's hitting or whatever, you can, you can lower it or make it higher or whatever you want to do. And I, I like that. I like the way the whole thing works, really. It's, it, it's, it's, they're very well made. Thank you. So again, that's, that's pretty much the three products. Um, and they work with all tablets and smartphones. And we have a number of other things that are you know, all about trying to make the things we're already d using easier, more fun, and more handy. Derek, you want to put the camera back up so I can see your beautiful face there? There we go. Hey, there he is. Uh, they look really, uh, really interesting. And, and one thing I need to point out to the audience, as I mentioned er real early on, these things aren't chintzy. Uh, they're, they're actually he quasi heavy because they're steel. It's not something that's going to break chrome finish. They're very handsome. Uh, the magnets, as you can see, are uh, the super magnets. And they, they really click on there. And the ability to rotate it is uh, quite, quite functional. So uh, I, I really like these folks. And uh, uh, I'm going to be using it in my car. And I, I love the idea of putting this pivot on the uh, tablet. And uh, you know, for a slideshow or a demonstration, wow, it, it, it's fantastic. And I like the alarm clock, too. So I guess the, the question now is that we've seen these things is, uh, uh, I know that we can get them on your website, and that's called Hello Mobio. And that will certainly be uh, in our show notes, uh, Hello Mobio. But folks, uh, Derek is such a nice guy. He's given us the only offer out this that I'm aware of anywhere. This is only exclusively for uh, the gadget professor, uh, people who tune into the show and who have sub subscribed. Uh, You've made a very generous offer. As I, let me get this right now. There's going to be no shipping. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, there's a special code that you can give them that's only for the Gadget Professor uh, viewers, and that'll be up for how long this thing airs. So thanks a lot. I, I just want to make it so people can get things at a better value. Absolutely. Well, they'll save a lot of money by uh, no shipping because, as I said, they're well-made and they're somewhat heavy. So if you go to Hello Mobio and go to the buy, is that where they go to where it says buy? Correct, you can just click on any of the products, it'll go over all the features okay. and let you know anything you want to make sure it is something that you think will be good. Okay, now here's the code folks, and I think Mike actually has it written down, it's gonna be, the promo code will be the gadget professor, but it's just the initials, TGP, all lowercase, TGP, and that's gonna give you free shipping. Uh, I make absolutely nothing on this, it's, it's, it's a, a generous offer by, uh, my good friend Derek here, and uh, I think everybody should uh, should certainly take advantage of it. 
There are, I think, videos, if I'm not mistaken, on your website that can actually review this and see this again. Is that correct? Yes, we can uh, show any type of uh, product knowledge or information or more uses, whether it be in video or text or picture form, we have. I do want to mention one thing. It's free sure. shipping anywhere in, really? the 50, in the 50 United States. Because if we ship it over to Europe, it'll, it'll, it can get pretty expensive. Now, so does we that include Hawaii? That's what I want to know. Yes. Okay. Well, that's a very generous deal. And again, it's, uh, you know, you can go to the Gadget Professor's promo page that will be in the show notes, the Gadget Professor's promo page, which is uh, Gadget Professor promo. I'll have that in the show notes. And uh, you can click on that. And it will hot link directly to Hello Mobio. And just remember the code. Again, that will be in the show notes. It's TGP. Well, Derek, I want to thank you very much for, uh, for allowing us to intrude on your schedule. I know you're a very busy, uh, busy man, and that's good, and I wish you a lot of success with your company. And folks, i got to tell you, I, I've been talking to Derek now for maybe, I don't know, two weeks, and uh, he's a real gentleman, and uh, I really enjoy working with him, and he truly believes in his product. And I can assure you, from me to you guys uh, out there, that if you have any problems with the product, uh, you can call Derek, and I guarantee you he will take care of it instantaneously. And I can also guarantee that you're not going to have any problems with the products because I have them here in front of me, and uh, they're really, really well made. So, uh, Derek, again, thank you so much. It was great talking to you, and uh, everybody in the Gadget Professor land uh, appreciates you coming in. Thanks, Don. I have a special Bluetooth device. I'm going to give you and your viewers a special early access before it hits the market here in another month. So thanks again oh, for that's everything. Great. Okay, thank you. Take care. Have a good day. Thank you, Derek. Appreciate it, Don. Take care. Have a good one. Thank you. So, so there we have it, fans. Uh, that's a, uh, a great gadget. They're really well made. And, uh, you know, if you're worrying about the sticker, uh, maybe we can go to camera two and I'll show you what this looks like. This is the sticky part. It's just like a little wafer. It's about, it's not even as thick as a penny. And uh, it's a 3M product, so it's not something that, that's going to, you know, mess up on you. But the way you get this product off, if you mount it on your dashboard or if you, uh, wherever you, you, you mount the sticky to, the back of your laptop, I'm sorry, your, your, your tablet, your iPhone, uh, it's very simple. You take a piece of dental floss and you take a Q-tip and you just go around it with some common rubbing alcohol and then you take the uh, uh, dental floss and just pull it down and it comes right off, doesn't leave any residue. And uh, they give you a bunch of these wafers, so if you want to move it from one place to another, if you're selling your car or whatever, uh, these are just throwaways, and you get a bunch of them. If you run out, you can buy them uh, back at uh, Hello Mobio or pretty much anywhere. They're a standard piece, and uh, no residue, no nothing. So they're, they're pretty well made, and it's an interesting product. So I hope you enjoyed the gadget of the day. And now we're going to get to uh, the news of the day, and I have a couple pieces of, uh, of uh, free software for you. So let me... Uh, let me get started here. We'll, we'll pull down this Skype window. And uh, I'm going to open up uh, uh, our main window here. And uh, before we get started with the uh, software of the day, uh, I have two brief articles I want to read to you. And I don't make this stuff up. This is an Associated Press article. Uh, Lawmakers, cyber attacks against the United States are getting worse. The U.S. is uh, vulnerable, extremely vulnerable, to cyber attacks that could shut down financial services or destroy information that companies need for daily operations, the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee said Sunday. Rep. Mike Rogers says 95% of the private sector networks are vulnerable and most have already been hit or hacked. I'm going to repeat that. 95% of the private sector networks are vulnerable are vulnerable and have already been hit or hacked. Uh, what's been stolen? Personal identity, social security numbers, money from banks, blueprints for generations of jobs, and this is very important. At risk are private companies and public agencies. Some estimates put the value of the information hacked as much as $400 billion a year. $400 billion a year, oh my God. But many companies are still reluctant to admit they've been hacked or that they can even keep in a competitive edge. And uh, I'm not going to read the whole article. I will post it on my uh, show notes. But uh, this is very, very uh, scary stuff. And uh, if you think that you're safe on a cloud or your information is safe with anybody, uh, I, I'm almost ready to say I don't know anybody who hasn't been hacked. They may not admit it, but uh, it's that serious of a threat. So I'm just cautioning everybody to be real careful 
what kind of information uh, you give out to the stores or people that you're buying merchandise from because uh, this is a serious thing. And the other thing that's particularly egregious to me is that what you don't realize is that you know, these cyber attackers from, uh, from other countries are actually stealing our trade secrets and our product uh, development about what's going to be happening in the future in terms of products and, and business and industry. They're stealing everything they can get their hands on because this stuff is vulnerable and the networks aren't protected. So uh, the other side of the coin is if you're looking for a job or you know, going to college or trying to figure out what to train for, it seems to me that there's going to be a lot of job openings in this uh, cyber protection area in networking and uh, uh, security in terms of uh, you know uh, the internet so I would suggest that maybe you look into that field because this is very scary to me another article that came out and this is even more frightening not that I want to scare everybody but I think you need to be aware of this uh, the National Security Agency NSA has just built a massive uh, enormous building a million square feet to the tune of two billion dollars. It's a high security data center in Bluffdale, Utah. A few news sources are reporting that the data center will store huge amounts of digital communication including personal emails, social media posts, and voice calls of United States citizens. Can this be true? Well, part of the NSA's job is to monitor and analyze worldwide information traffic to detect any kind of threat to the United States. Now, of course, they're not supposed to monitor these communications without good reason, but we all know they can conjure up a good reason pretty easily. So you got to be careful what you're doing on your computer. And, you know, this, th they have the right to go in and get anything. On the, uh, let's see here. Uh, all the, all the government has to do is put some packer sniffers, tight in, packer, packet sniffers, <laughs> say that twice fast. It needs to put in some packet sniffers that are tied into the major internet providers. According to some reports, it has already done this. Plus, it's already set up for wiretapping any domestic phone anywhere. On the plus side, the NSA wouldn't necessarily be targeting you specifically for the information, but you would be just dropping the bucket in terms of the range of torrents of what they can go after. So if you want to be safe, you want to encrypt your data, and there's all kinds of free encryption programs and also encryption programs that you could purchase. And don't forget that the government can subpoena your private information from any company at any time, and the information that you have right now is susceptible to search. So just keep that in mind. Now, this wants me to restart my computer, and I'm going to postpone that. It's doing an update, but the gadget professor caught it. So let's move on to some of our free software today. We have six things that we'll cover real quick. Uh, the first one is Open Library. Everybody sent back, well not everybody, a lot of people said they love the free books, they love the free books. Here's another free book source for you, for your uh, e-readers, any source you want, Mobi, EPUB, whatever it may be. Uh, it's called openlibrary.org. Just go to that, look at what you want, download it, and it's yours for free. Can't beat that price. The next phone uh, app that we have that I kind of like and I don't have it yet but I will it's called over 40 magnifier I am over 40 and even if you're not over 40 what it does is it turns your iPhone into a magnifying glass you can zoom in and you can change the view and also it will use the light that's on your iPhone to uh, shed light on what it is that you're trying to see and then on the screen of the actual iPad it will magnify whatever it is you're looking at so when you guys want to leave a tip and you can't see the receipt, there's no excuse now. You're going to have the over 40 magnifier and you'll be able to see how much of a tip you should leave. So check that out. It's real handy to have if you uh, need something magnified. I think it's two bucks on the iPhone store. Sorry, app, uh, sorry guys for the Android. It's not, uh, I don't see it for the Android, but that's over 40 magnifier. It is on iTunes. I just see that here. The other uh, app that we have today that's kind of neat is called Scroll App. And what this will do is, again, this is a free app, but this will allow you to put a ticker tape of your news, weather, sports, whatever it is that you want, uh, right on your uh, uh, home page or any other page that you want. It's a free app, and you can put any type of RSS feed or scroll it, just like a, a news report ticker, and it's totally free and it works pretty good.
The next uh, piece of software, where'd my mouse go? Here we go. The next piece of software that I like, and again, it's free, uh, is called ManyCams, and I don't even think people know this exists. ManyCam Virtual Webcam has effects and features. You can uh, use ManyCam Webcam software to turn your computer into a live video production studio. There is a free version and there's a, a pro version. Obviously, the free version is free, and the pro version costs money. So you can add webcam graphics to videos and photos. You can use your webcam with multiple applications simultaneously. So that if you're using Uvu, you're using Skype, and you're using uh, Zoom or Google Plus or Hangout, this will work with any of them, and it automatically loads when you're on these particular uh, uh, packa uh, packages, and you can switch between it seamlessly. You can draw over your video window. You can use a magazine, microphone, and audio effects. You can change your voice. You can screencast your, your desktop. You can do picture-to-picture, -picture, quickly switch between video and audio sources, create custom webcam effects, and it's totally free. I'll put this on the show notes. You can see some of the fun things you can do, and I highly recommend it because I've downloaded it and used it, and it works. Last but not least, we have the free YouTube Downloader. This is a cool product. It's totally free, and it does some cool things. The fastest and easiest way to download videos, download YouTube music as MP3s. This is a, device, a, a piece of software that will allow you to download any kind of uh, thing that you see on YouTube. You want to view the video on the mobile device or phone, such as an iPod, iPad, iPhone, MP3 player, MP4 player, Zoom, blah, blah, blah. This will convert it and do it for you. You have a slow connection and you're viewing HD video and it's buffering and buffering and buffering. This will download that file for you and you don't have to worry about the buffering. You want to make sure you don't lose a video when it's removed or altered by YouTube. Again, you can download it with this. So essentially what this app does is it downloads anything that's on YouTube right to your computer as a file and there you go, you have it. The same thing for music. It will download it. It's totally free and that will be on the show notes. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I've certainly enjoyed bringing uh, uh, Derek Spring in from uh, Mobio. Great product, very well made, very reasonably priced. Actually, I have the pricing here if you're wondering. The, uh, uh, the car device and the grip, they're 35 bucks, and the pivot, which is this piece here, that sells for 45 bucks, and you're going to get free shipping. This doesn't weigh a pound, maybe a, maybe a half a pound, maybe not even that, but it's, it's really well made. And, I'll bet you this costs 10, 15 bucks to ship. So if you're interested in these devices, you might as well pick up the free shipping. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I look forward to seeing everybody next Thursday. So long from The Gadget Professor. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor.